You know, I'm excited for this week, as everybody knows here that knows me a little bit. and been around a year and a half now. Uh, this is a big week in our program, big week for the city, big week for the state. Um, I love the rivalry games. I love the intensity. Um, obviously, they're a very quality opponent, and uh, I think we have a good basketball team, too. So um, we have to obviously defend to win this week, Tuesday night and Saturday. We have to defend. I think we're playing two of the better defensive teams in the league. So uh, every bucket is valuable. You cannot give up easy baskets. You cannot give up open threes uh, for both teams. Uh, I know we're here to talk about BYU, but I think in week in general, is, is a, it's a big week defensively for our team. And uh, we know what home, meet, home games mean in this league, and this is a big home game. So take any questions you have. Well, that's a good, you know, Tom Izzo's thinking is, is we're going to send five to the board, and if they want to run on us, good luck, because we're going to have every rebound. You know, we don't send five to the board. We'll continue to do what we do and try to rebound at the offensive end and get back. We've done a good job of doing both. They do put a lot of pressure on you to do that. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll keep playing the way we play. You know, we run better this year than last year. There's got to be some concern in their mind that we're going to run it back at them where we didn't do that last year. So um, they've got the same kind of dilemma, same question, because I think we're a good running basketball team. You, as you guys know, I voted Kamard Player of the Year last year. Um, you know, it's he's a tough son of a bitch is what he is. And uh, I like the guy. And uh, so to me, he's the focal point of their team. He brings the toughness. He brings the intensity. He's the leader. Uh, he's won. Uh, he's got a lot at stake, obviously, to win for them, but also, you know, he'll play a lot of basketball when he's done. So I think he is the head of the head of the monster down there. So, you know, I think I, I think it's uh, until you experience something, you can identify with it, you can associate with it. But until you've been through it, um, it, it is a big deal. And uh, it's even bigger than I think I thought. And it's bigger than most people know about because of the part of the world we're in. So uh, it's every big as much as Michigan, Ohio State in football, um, Michigan State, Wisconsin in basketball. It's, I think in some ways it's bigger. Um, it's bigger because both those are state to state. This is in the state. And that makes it, uh, you know, the Michigan, Michigan State thing has not been as powerful lately uh, in football because Michigan's been very dominant in football or basketball because Michigan State's been dominant in basketball. So it's turned into Michigan, Ohio State, and then Michigan State, Wisconsin in, in, uh, in basketball. So I think it's huge because it encompasses the state, and we're so close together. And to me, in my mind, we're both good, and that makes it even better. And um, we were trying to find ourselves last year. I think we were learning who we were going to be. and. Um, this year, I think we both have good basketball teams. You know, Lucas Lucas developed, guys, and you got to give him credit for that. He stayed here this summer. He invested in us. He didn't go home the whole summer. And, um, you know, he's done his, he's done his school work. Uh, you know, he's done everything I've asked him to do since I've got here, and it's paying off. And he's, he's leading us on the floor defensively, offensively. Uh, he's a tough cover. He draws a lot of attention. And... Um, you know, he's our main guy, and we have to feed and play off him. So, and he has to lead us, which he's done a better job of. Well, I, I think there's, I think there's uh, matchups all over the place. Obviously, the um, Kamard matchup has hurt us. I've talked about that. The 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, wing has hurt us in the past. Um, so that's a point of concern. Um, they know Luke can play. Him and Playstead had great matchups over the years. Uh, in my mind, Luke got the better of those every time. Um, but, you know, that's debatable. But uh, to me, the, the winner is who wins the game. You know, and tomorrow, whatever the matchups are, the winner will be who wins the game. Um, I think it's going to come down to support players. We talk about BYU, their three-headed kind of monster they have with Tavernary, Fredette, and Kamard. But Emery, to me, is an unbelievable addition for them. His toughness, speed, quickness. 
He's a ball hawk type guy. He's a loose ball guy. And then Miles has improved greatly. And McGregor has improved greatly. And Morgan has improved. So, you know, to me, they got nine solid, solid guys. Hard Sox playing a little bit more. Um, you know, uh, in a way, you know, they might be deeper than last year with the development of Fredette, with the development of Miles, with the development of Morgan. Um, Lamont Morgan, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. That's right, right? Yeah. You know, with his development, he's a good player. I think he's made 20-something, four of his last 39 shots or something ridiculous like that. And he's playing winning basketball. So um, they've had guys step in, you know, for those two guards that left. And, and Miles is holding down the fort. I think their center position is around 10 points a game and around nine rebounds from that center position. Well, you throw that into those other three guys, that's a big deal. So they're getting it done at the center position by committee, you know, with Miles leading the, kind of leading the way. Yeah, well, I, I think it's spread more shots around. You know, I, I think it's, you know, Fredette obviously plays kind of a loose, uh, I don't mean this negatively, but a loose game. He can take shots when he wants. Burgess and, and uh, help me, Burgess and uh, Murdoch didn't play that way last year. They were receivers. Now Fredette has the ball in his hands. He creates. Well, the 10, 12 shots a game that Playstead got, he's taken some of those. And then Tavernary and Kamara obviously uh, get their looks like they did last year. So uh, they're a little bit more perimeter than they were last year. But I, like I said, I've been impressed with Miles' development. He was terrific against San Diego State, uh, made shots and made plays. And, and um, they've changed the way they play. I think they've tweaked the way they play a little bit, but they still have the same system. It's transition. It's good spacing and shooting. And what BYU doesn't get credit for enough is their defense. I think they lead the league in three-point defense. And... Um, they have a system defensively, and they're good at it. They're good at it. Yeah, well, don't think that's not on my mind. Um, you know, I get it every day when I go get gas or <laughs> go to the store. When are you going to beat BYU? Uh, I get it every day. So, um, yeah, it's on my mind. Um, my job is, is to build a program here and to get this program back to where we, should, we think it should be, and we're doing that. Um, beating, big, beating BYU is a part of that, and um, I'll never underplay the value of one game. Uh, this is a big game. Uh, my goal is to build this program, and uh, to do it, we got to win tomorrow night.